Bricklaying is a sport. It's not a sprint, it is a marathon. This is completely new. You can't prepare for something you do day in, day out. You're just here to lay brick, aren't we? To lay any good numbers here today is going to take a good bricklayer to be able to lay it that fast and neat and get numbers in. I did not fall in love with business. I fell in love with bricklaying, and that's the truth. No one really shows speed online. So I know for a fact that when I start showing speed, I get ridiculed for it. Honestly, I think it's anyone's game at the moment. Yeah. Hey guys, it's Tony from Build With Eni, and today I'm here judging an event. It's called Super Trial 2023, and it's actually held at the Hartford Regional Construction Center. It is an amazing event. You can see in the background, all the guys are getting set up. What I'm gonna do now, because I'm judging the event, I won't be doing any content in. I'm gonna leave that to the expert James and Kurt to do this. So, let me pass you over to James. Going? Cheers Tony, yes here we are, Super Trial 2023, the first ever of its kind in the UK. We've got seven fantastic bricklayers all competing against each other for the title of the UK's fastest and best bricklayer. Right, we're going to get into it now, we're going to interview the contestants and find out a little bit about them. Let's get into it. Luke, pleasure to meet you mate. Pleasure to meet you. How excited are you for today? Very excited. It's, uh, it's something that I've been looking forward to since I entered, so we'll uh, see how we go today. And you are, I believe, the only contestant today that's had some similar experience to this? Yes, yeah. So um, hopefully that'll uh, stand me in good stead. So, can you just talk through what you're doing today to get yourself set up, mate? Yeah, so we're just setting up some nine-inch hollow cores. Um, one course all the way through, and then a single brick. Uh, course of brickwork on top just to set the wall, just to take any unevenness out of the floor mm. and get a setup ready for the main build. And do you think using this style of block makes it any easier for you moving forward throughout the day, meaning it's higher up off the ground, the width of it, anything like that? Uh, yeah, well it just helps. It's, it's a standard nine inch block so it just gives you that exact width for the wall. Um, and obviously we'll set out with a header at each end as well, not stretcher. So I've seen a few setting out with some stretchers and they might get a little bit nipped on the end. Yeah. Some inside information there that we've, Very, we've not seen. We've not seen. We won't tell the other contestants. Yeah. So we've not seen that before. But yeah, bear that in mind. That's that, a great that insight to coming to play later. Like yeah. When Luke's desires are first. No, lifted. it won't yeah. be that. <laughs> no, do you know what? That'll, I think that'll come into play when we check the tolerances. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll keep an eye out for that when it comes to the yeah. judging. How have you prepared for this event? Laid lots of bricks. Laid lots yeah, of bricks. yeah, basically. Lots of bricks and beers. Lots of bricks, beers, more bricks, more beers. Yeah, that's it. Well, that's a solid show. Yeah. I can't argue with that. Everyone loves a beer. So, what exactly are you doing to set yourself up now, mate? Just putting my base course in, really, making sure everything's gauge, level, get the first course of blocks in, get the bricks in, and then ready to win. So, steady away, you're taking your time to get set up properly yeah. so yeah, that the rest it. of the day goes nice and smooth, yeah? Yeah, that's it, you've got to be comfy. I've noticed today that we're using the 9 inch H pattern blocks. Oh, I've never used them. I've never laid them in my life. Never touched them in your life? No, no. So, no idea. Never no. touched them. No, I thought they'd use a normal trench block, if I'm honest. But... Yeah. Any better than the trench block, do you think? Uh, it's both disgustingly heavy. Yeah, but horribly heavy. Yeah, yeah. 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 Fair play. So, here we have Antoine, and he's a 30 year old bit like that. Where are you from? I'm down near Brighton. Down near Brighton? Yeah, a town called New Haven. What are you doing right now? What is your so, action? It's a setting out course, one course of blocks, one course of bricks. Uh, we've got specific measurements to meet length of bricks, which we're going to get marked on per millimetre. So, you know, you've got you know, you know, paper thin uh, margins to work with. Yeah, we've got to, you know, keep it on the mark. Yeah. You know, levels have got to be used, you know, not every brick, but, you know, you've got to trust your uh, instinct. Have yeah. you ever used this before? I mean, James, I think. Not, you know, not, it's sort of a, you know, reinforced concrete, you know, for swimming pools or, you know, massive retaining walls. Yeah. So this is above alien ground as such. This is very alien to these blocks. Well, you know, I've, I've laid them before, but, you know, we're laying them flat, so we haven't got the holes to, you know, to try and balance our bricks with. They serve a purpose for the competition and get us off the ground. Yeah, and that's it, really. Ready to rock. Antoine, all the very best, mate. Yeah, thank, thank you very much. much for your time. Yeah, all the best. And you're good. Let's do it. Right, Ash, how are you feeling about today, brother? Good, mate. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's um, something that I've wanted to do all my life, and it's here now and I'm ready to go. So, so I see you take your time getting this set out perfectly, absolutely ready yeah, yeah. to allow you to fly in the main event. That's it, mate. Yeah, yeah. So just take your time now, a little bit, just wearing a little bit, and then. Have a big fry up and we're good to go. You're sweating out like that. <laughs> yeah. A big fry up on a Guinness. I've seen you already, Ash. Obviously, social media is a big thing for you, and you pump your dad left, right, and centre. Your dad's all over your social media. Yeah. How is it having your dad here today? 
Is it a big Yeah, it's, uh, it's mega for me, look, because everyone who knows me on here, look, that man there, he's, he's, he's on the biggest pedestal you can ever put him, look, you know, so it's, um, it's nice to have him here, and it's that dad energy, and it's so. Yeah. Come on, come on. <laughs> Is that going to be a big motivation for you today to push on? Yeah, massively, Lord. Just having him there, just so I want to do my dad proud. And it's his birthday tomorrow as well, so, you know, we'll just see if we can give him that gold. Oh, so. Yeah, so. Feeling confident, mate. You ready? You're loosened yeah, up and ready to go, yeah? Mate, I've, um, I haven't lied much this week, so loads of guineas last night, and we're good to go, Lord, you know, so. Other than that, mate, all the best. Legend. Legend. We're there, dude. Go on, brother. So, Lou, how are you feeling? Nervous, excited, ready for it? I was terrified, uh, but the closer it's got, like, the more, yeah. So it's going to be a great experience coming up against these really experienced lads. And, like, given everything that's gone on, we're going to give a good day, Brit layers everywhere. And, and especially gonna... for women, here to compete for the women. You know, in the box, <laughs> so it's not only the box, can't I agree? Oh, no, 100%. I mean, some of the boys didn't even have balls to enter when they had the yeah, chance. Exactly, so. exactly. <laughs> I'm only two years on trial, so I'm going to give it my best shot. As long as I can hit that count and my work's packed, I'm happy. There's nothing but respect for that. There's <laughs> nothing but respect. So you've got into the swing of it now. You've you've loosened up. Are you uh, you've got yourself set up? You feeling like you can actually give the boys a run for the money today? Yeah, I reckon so. Don't see why not. Correct answer. Completely <laughs> confident. Secretly, she's like, I'm going to smash a lot of her. Full brag. Yeah. Okay, we'll good try. Yeah. Lou, absolute Perfect. pleasure to talk to you. All the best. Thanks. All right. Nice to finally meet you, boys. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. So all the very best. Good luck. Let's have a good one. Yeah. It's kind of well known in this room that you are today's favourite with the videos you put up on YouTube. Oh, stop Lansford, it, stop How it. do you feel you're going to contend today? Are you to be honest? No, gonna, oh, man, I, I'm just, just going to try the best. Yeah. I've been training for it. I've been running a lot. You know, I've been practicing my technique. Been I practicing think you're the only person that's actually trained for this physically. Well, uh, Ash has just been eating fry ups. Uh, <laughs> Lou says she just rolled over. He's a bit. proper brick layer, isn't he? He's a proper brick layer. That's why. Aren't so, you? You, you are up against some fantastic bit layers today, Charlie. Yeah. Um, do you feel like you've still got the edge? Because, like Blade said, you are well known for being quick, for being uh, for getting through it. Uh, I'm very well aware that there's a lot of quick bricklayers out there. I no, by no means think that I'm the fastest bricklayer here. I don't. I don't think that. I want to believe it. So. I can only try my best. Just before we leave you, could you just give us a quick talk through about what you're doing to get yourself set up, mate? Uh, I'm trying to lay these blocks without hurting myself, because yeah. <laughs> they're heavy as f Just get my first course set out, yeah. next course, brickwork. I've been debating a lot of time and effort into uh, the height of the corners that I'm going to build when I build, um, the technique that I'm going to use, the tra size trowel that I'm going to use, because all mortar's different, the, the, the consistency's different, uh, it can be a lot wetter, it can be a lot stiffer, it can be a lot stickier, and we all know that once you've laid bricks very fast for an hour, all these little things do become a factor yeah. on how yeah. well you're going to do by the end. True professional. Great chat there from a great bricklayer. Thank you, Charlie. Good luck. Right then, Tomo. Yes. How are you feeling about today? Yeah, all right. Yeah. Uh, Confident? Quietly. Nervous. Yeah, you, to say you're not nervous is yeah, yeah, a, yeah. an understatement, wouldn't it? Yeah. You know, like, what do you reckon to these these blocks that you're laying at the moment? I do a lot of these. Yeah. I would say we've never yeah. touched them, so they're alien not. to us. Yeah, they're really alien yeah. to us. A lot of retaining walls out of these ones. Yeah. So, in general, do you call yourself a quick bricklayer? What's your best commodity as a bricklayer that you would say about yourself? Um, I'm more quality, I would say, yeah. yeah. More quality, I am. That's going to sc score your points today, yeah. though, isn't it? Because mm -hmm. people who are just rushing... Are gonna... yeah, you, you see, it's one or the other, isn't it, really? You've got to go for it. One thing that we've seen from you as well, Tom, you have a very nice flow. That's going to come into play sometimes. Um, got, a lot of bricklayers move their arms like bees' wings, Yeah. don't get a lot done. Yeah. Whereas now it's seen videos you are very efficient it's, it's consistency in it it's, yeah. it's, if you can stay away from the malt ball consistency he's got it all Tommy. Tommy's got it all Tommy. I, think Tommy, I think Tommy's a dark horse Tommy's a dark horse he's on to watch it's the, tim it's the Timothy isn't it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's that hair's down there but when he's on the line it'll be back here somewhere yeah. he's got <laughs> I look like you <laughs> like, a, like a five to one mid-range sort of. <laughs> yeah. right, we'll leave you with it then Tommy thank you very much for your time cheers, mate. cheers dude nice work yeah, yeah, yeah thanks guys Stop on. I want Ash to win. Yeah. Popular kid. Yeah. But, F1, I, think F1, champion, yeah. I think F1's got 
Uh, I don't know, Charlie's got to be rapid. Yeah. F1's got their money on Charlie though. Definitely, yeah. But I don't know F1 who's competing. So I know the American lad who's already competed. He's not American, he's, he's, he's British. British, when he's British but he's competed. Yeah, yeah. You've yeah. got to be pretty good to go all the way over to America. <laughs> And like have a go. So I think Tommy might shock us. I've heard Tommy's probably gonna win on quality. Tommy's very good. Yeah. Very, very good. I can't win on speed or quality. <laughs> well that's just me. Good looks. <laughs> we'll leave it on that one. We'll do that. Thanks, is it? We're ready to watch the hot carries of the race. So the race is gonna be six steps, twenty-four hot carries. Right then, hot carriers, are we ready? Yes. One, two. Three, let's go! So the winner is going to get six stacks of bricks all loaded out and he's going to get all the brick jackets over the top of them. The first man to do that is going to be crowned the winner of the hot carrier race. We're going to keep an eye on for the last stack to be completed. When the last brick jacket goes on, you're going to hear this. It sounds a little bit like that. Oh, look at this lad over here. Whipping him onto his shoulders like it's nothing. The second big jacket to go. What the hell do you mean? And the winner is Conor Mahoney. Yeah. Conor's day race has gone up. How was that? All right, yeah. You are really wet. Same as every day. <laughs> so shut up, Dad. Not in front of the guys. So Say I've, uh... stressful. Huh? No, I still. Well, I said to you, I've yet to find someone who can beat me, so. I love the confidence. It's in the veins, it's in the blood. It, can me and Connor have a race off on the odd now or what? <laughs> no, stay in your lane, you're here to lie. Thank you to every single one of you for turning up here as well. It means a lot to you all coming down, so... Mega. Mega. You feeling confident? You feeling yeah. cool? It's what we do every day, mate. It's just, we're here to like break down this, uh, balling. Bread and butter. How are you feeling, mate? I'm just here to play, mate. I'm just here to play. You're not here to win? Right, we're well into it, aren't we guys? Charlie's got all his boards absolutely filled to the brim, very nearly on the line. We've got Lou, who's well on with her corner. Lou doing it for the women in the trade. Seven very talented bricklayers here today. Every single one of them should be proud of themselves. Every single one of these bricklayers that are here putting everything on the line, their reputation, they're showing us what they can do. 
that we've seen them all on social media, we know what they can do on the screen, but now you guys are witnessing it in the flesh. Coming to the closing stages of this main event guys, this has been a fantastic hour of bricklaying. The top bricklayers in the country showcasing their skills and doing it to a standard that can't be matched. Every one of them here today has proven why they are worthy of entering this competition. We did have to go to VAR on this, there were some issues, stacks weren't completed unfortunately. The guy that stacked out, kept the area clean the most, goes to Mumford at CGI. <laughs> Moving on swiftly to the Golden Trail Award, so this is the most bricks laid in one hour. This is not deductions, so this is just the bricks laid. And what a surprise, it goes to Charlie Collison, 607 in one hour. In third, four deductions at 396 and achieved no deductions whatsoever for quality work. Goes to Anton at AC Brickwork. Coming at second place, 496 bricks but with some deductions down to 446. Goes to Ashley Mahoney, second place. And in first place, 607 bricks, and with deductions of 100, 507, Charlie Collison. construction worker or their families should be alone in a crisis. If you feel like you need support, please reach out. You are not alone. 